Let me know if you make it to the end of this video. I would love to find out. Um, I'm going to put a timestamp, so you can feel free to watch it all or not, but um, uh, it's up to you. Whatever you feel is right. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I honestly just want to talk about something that I feel like I've gotten some questions on lately, and also I kind of had my own experience with, and I feel... It would be helpful to share more about this so this is just uh, my perspective on essentially resistance negative thoughts um, how they affect what you're trying to manifest into your reality um, experiencing your reality so anyways um, if you've watched some of my other videos you probably know that I talk a lot about quieting the mind I talk a lot about you know, not letting the negative thoughts like affect you. I talk about being neutral in your reaction to things, not reacting to negative things in a, in a negative way, really. I also talk about how you really can't mess up. Like if you have a vision of something where you're going and you trust that you're on the right path, then you always will be on the right path and you will get there regardless of basically the decisions that you make. Like no matter what, you know, the end of the movie, you'll get there. So that's kind of what I've talked about in other videos, but I really just want to talk more about um, negative thoughts and getting really down on yourself because we are human. Also, we have to remember this. We also have human emotion and the number one thing I just don't want my channel to portray is that you have to be perfect all the time. That is something like I just want people to know that when it comes to manifesting anything, just... Be easy on yourself, you know, be kind to yourself in the process of it because the more that you try to force yourself to do something a certain way, the more you try to force yourself into a box, the more that, you know, things are going to fight back the opposite way. So just <laughs> realize that if you're going through, you know, a phase at some point where you start to feel like nothing's working, you're getting mad, like things don't seem to be going right, and you know, you're fighting with yourself to stay positive, sometimes realize that it's okay to be negative. <laughs> it's okay to get angry, it's okay to cry. What I recommend doing in these instances is first off, feel any emotions you need to feel and then also tell yourself, it is okay to feel anything that I'm feeling right now. It's okay to say anything I need to say because we need to remember is that your higher self is also like you and it cares about you. It wants to be there for you. It loves you. Like, And so your higher self, you also have to remember too, is that like pure consciousness or whatever you want to call it, God, some people want to refer to it as God or the universe, Whatever you want to say, like the whole thing with it is it does not judge. Like I talk about being neutral. The reason I talk about being neutral or staying neutral to situations is because the universe does not judge. That is just not something that's built into it. The only thing that judges is the egoic mind, okay? So you can think of it like Adam and Eve and then they plucked the apple, you know, from the um, tree of knowledge and then it was like now they had the idea of like good and bad good and evil but before that everything was just peace it was just love and there was no judgment of anything and that is what god or the universe still is so you have to realize that being open with yourself and being vulnerable with yourself and like allowing yourself to feel emotions as long as you do that and you do not judge yourself you allow yourself to feel those things you allow yourself to cry and you just really like talk it out with yourself almost as if you were talking to god or to another person you have this conversation with yourself you talk to them as if you're venting everything you need to vent and you do so knowing that they will not judge you like as if you're talking to a therapist i promise you you will probably see better results the next day or just straight after that or you will feel a thousand times better because the number one reason you're not manifesting things that you want to manifest too is because you're not feeling good. Like feeling good is so important 
to manifesting things because you you have to feel worthy of the things you're manifesting, right? Like if you don't feel worthy of the things you're manifesting, then how do you expect to ever manifest them into your life? Because, you know, you're believing that like that's your identity now would be like that new person that you want to be. So you kind of have to feel good about yourself already to get to wherever you want to go next. So really it's about acceptance so like feeling good is about acceptance it's about allowing everything and that is what the universe is that's what like being in alignment is no judgment it is allowing all things so so many times like i say it is important it obviously is important to keep your mind in a positive mindset you don't want to fall trapped to all the negative thoughts all the time but like if you do think a negative thought, the whole point with staying neutral, as I've said in other videos, is that you just don't give it attention. Like you just are like, all right, negative thought, that's fine. Like that's okay, I thought that thought, but I'm gonna move on. You know, you don't even have to say it. You don't have to acknowledge it really, um, but you can and that's okay too. So like if you have a lot of negative thoughts, like start talking to yourself and reminding yourself, it's okay that I thought this thing, it doesn't affect my manifestation and I'm fine and like I can move forward and again I just said I'm fine you probably shouldn't say that if you are feeling something once again say it to yourself like if you are feeling I don't know upset about something that day you're like I don't know where my manifestation is I've been feeling so upset like I am doing all this work and I'm not seeing any results like just vent it out to yourself allow yourself to feel angry sad mad whatever you want to feel and then just know this is like a no judgment zone okay so you can do all of this and it'll be fine because I promise you once again you will feel so much better because if you try to hold things in like it's just going to build up to the point where it gets to be so much that it all comes out at once <laughs> no matter what so you might as well do it like when you feel you need to you know like just do it a bit at a time that way it doesn't get to that point but also this can happen when you are like capable of manifesting something when you're close to manifesting something you can get really really pent up like frustrated with yourself or just be really angry about something and just not really know why you're feeling all these emotions and it could be because you're just like so close to something but you've got like this one limiting belief or something that's holding you back and the universe is trying to like what it does is like bring focus to a limit any limiting beliefs that are standing in the way of your desire so if you have these negative episodes realize that it's actually showing that you're growing. It's showing that you are progressing to something else because you're getting rid of negative beliefs in the process. By going through and like allowing yourself to feel things and then you'll find when you start talking things out with yourself too, kind of like listen to what you're saying <laughs> because usually you'll start speaking the negative beliefs out. And then when you speak them out, now it's like you brought your awareness to them. And now when you do that, it's something that Eckhart Tolle says is that you kind of like bring the spotlight on them and just like dissolve them because the dark can't survive in the light, right? So if you have darkness, dark thoughts, like try talking them out with yourself, bring them to the light, bring them to source the universe, like bring awareness to them and they will dissolve. And it also will point you to what you need to maybe be affirming or saying to yourself. Um, you know, like if you have a limiting belief, like I'm not worthy of these desires. Now you can start saying I am worthy of my desires. You can tell yourself that and you can remind yourself that anytime you start thinking more negative again. So this is just the way that I look at things and it really is the way of the universe. There's so many examples of it in science and I always say the universe is just metaphors for everything. Um, like we have the poles of the world, like we have the positive and the negative. We have the equator and it gets hotter towards the center. The midline of the earth is also like the same thing as like alignment you can think of, like being in the middle of positive and negative. You also think of um, like batteries, the two ends of it. You can think of magnets. Um, there's so many examples of this. And then same with Adam and Eve and the picking the apple from the tree of knowledge. And that's the other thing too, is that don't, like overthink things like if you're stressing you're constantly thinking about okay this method i need to use this method and then this and then that's what's causing you to get overwhelmed also remember that like the universe doesn't really make sense as in you can think a thought and then as the universe like as i've said before if you are the universe in imagination you think of that you 
instantly are there. You're instantly that thing or you've instantly seen it or as soon as you affirm it, like that's what you are. That's really how it works. That's how everything really works. I don't even know why I said imagination. It just usually helps people visualize it better. You know, the way that you just see something in imagination, uh, you can see it immediately. That's like really how the universe works. Like there is no sense of direction really to the universe. There's no up, down, side to side, good, bad, yes, no. Like all of this comes from the ego and like our human mind, like judging the universe. So it's best if you want to act more in alignment with the universe it's best to just don't overthink it just let it be really like if you are stressing out over your manifestation and you've been doing a million things and trying to think think your way to the answer you're never going to think your way to the answer the fastest way to get an answer to is to just sit in silence i'm telling you or to go do something else because it's just like when you're trying to remember the name of a movie or something and you can't think of it and then all of a sudden you're going doing something else later in the day and you remember it or like a song that's the same thing with you trying to like figure out the answer to your question in that moment it doesn't always happen right away but that's okay because again the universe like it doesn't make sense <laughs> it's not really meant to make sense like everything is not going to always work the same way every single time and that's okay because like our beliefs change and like I said, there's no cause and effect in the universe. Like with the human mind, we always have to have a cause and effect. We need to know, okay, how did you get from here to here? I want to know your best manifesting technique because I want to do it and it has to work every single time if you say that this works. But I'm not going to say any of my techniques that I ever share on this channel will be perfect because what's perfect is what works for you. Because again, like, <laughs> the universe there's no judgment like there's no right or wrong even in the universe so it's really what you choose to believe okay and that's also why negative thoughts are not always bad it's just how you look at them the only thing that matters is your perception really and I don't even know where I'm going with this video, which is kind of funny because I'm thinking about the idea of the universe hopping from idea to idea. And that's what someone said in my other video that I tend to do that. And I'm like, it's funny because I also have ADHD technically speaking. Um, but I do feel like that's just another metaphor for how the universe works. Because if you think of Bashar, if anyone's watched his videos and his representation of how you should follow your highest calling or whatever he always tells you to just go with your highest I don't know interest passion I don't know the right word for it right now in that moment and then do that until you don't want to do it anymore don't focus on outcome and then go and do the next thing that's like your highest calling or passion and like you will see success doing life that way and it really kind of makes sense because oh that was so weird my Alexa just went off <laughs> I said I don't know that one anyways um well it's like the ADHD mind works the same way and I've always been like that my whole life and I was like why so my number one thing my family used to say was that I never finish things which I'm doing again as I'm speaking here my thoughts are just jumping all over but I'm talking right now from my I guess you could say from my heart and I'm being authentic as I'm doing this now I'm having another thought wow this is totally me just being in the zone of jumping from idea to idea but anyways um yeah being your authentic self and just like doing you and doing exactly what you want to in that moment is really the way of the universe like that is the way the universe wants to live so it doesn't live linearly like going the same way all the time like it'll immediately be like oh just kidding like I'm going this way or I want to do this now this sounds good like because the universe is just experiencing it's just having fun it's like a little kid with all these different ideas of what it wants to do so it doesn't always make sense to our mind you know like it's constantly jumping sorry see I feel like this is an example for this video. I'm gonna, I was gonna remove this part, but maybe I'll leave it in just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. My logical mind just got in the way there because I was trying to remember something else that I just wanted to say too. And then I totally just got in the way of the thoughts that were just popping up all over. So I find that really interesting. <laughs> but 
Sorry, I'm like hearing a million things too. I told you guys I used to channel messages. This is so random. I'm hearing everything or nothing at all. I'm hearing jumping up and down. This is like probably a representation of my mind right now, but <laughs> it's so funny. Um, okay, anyways, where am I going with this? Where's where's the trade of thought going? I guess nowhere because that's the whole point. Yes, actually, wow, that just brought me back. That is guys, this is wild. That just brought me back to exactly what I wanted to say is that the train of thought or like when my parents used to say I never finish things, it's because it was going nowhere. I just said that I just went in a full circle as in like the start and the end were at the same place. So when I said I never finished things growing up, I was always jumping from idea to idea, but I was always really successful with things I did. Like I always did really well for the time I was doing whatever I was doing. And I was like, enjoying it like I always did my own thing I worked for myself like I loved what I was doing when I was younger I really was passionate about everything I did and I remember my mom would say like you're so good at so many things but why do you never finish anything she was like you always like get so far in something and then you eventually just go to something else and a lot of people can relate to that if you have ADHD or if you just like like to do a lot of different things or maybe you've been told that in your lifetime that you don't finish things and the reason I think that is, is because the universe itself is eternal. There's no ending. There's no end and beginning. Everything just keeps going forever and ever and ever. Like the, I always said, like I said in my last video, the circle just keeps on turning. As in, life just keeps on going. Because you die and then the way I see it is that the same universe, the same god source whatever you want to call it is powering every single person on this planet and every time that death occurs really all it is is just you being reborn again and we can talk about the bible in reference to that too but like death and birth you oh my gosh i'm talking so fast um for myself even <laughs> um this is my brain just going nuts. I wasn't going to make a video tonight and then I was like urged to start recording. So this is what came out of this. This is great. Um, again, no judgment, whatever. It is what it is. I'm, I'm just going to go with it. But um, what I was saying is my last video too, if you noticed, not the last one, but the one before it with the circle. Um, when I said the start and the end, I had that little picture. Uh, if you noticed birth and death too, I had them right at the same place. So I find that so funny. It's like the start and the end are at the same place. Someone even commented something like this today too on the channel. So it was definitely a synchronicity there, but um, the start and the end are at the same place. Like everything begins and ends at the same place and like birth and death, it's like the same thing because you start as source conscious the universe and the you end as source conscious the universe and this whole time here you can't mess up being what you already are which is the universe right like you can't mess that up because you'll just go back to being it it's a cycle and the universe is just just experiencing different things through us like that is really all this is and i just i don't know why but for the last like probably three months I've been seeing like the recycle symbol everywhere repeatedly over and over and over and just now as I look down I'm looking at a lid on a bottle cap that has rotating <laughs> arrows in a circle um so crazy how that works and now I'm looking at a clock in front of me um this is what I mean about synchronicities I'm going to do a video on that as well but um yeah like everything just keeps on going it never ends like there is no ending so why when you're doing something it's not about the ending it's not about you trying to get somewhere to a specific place or to like you have to get to this point to be successful or whatever like because there is no end everything keeps going and also if creation is finished if all things exist you know, and you already know how the movie ends, technically speaking, like for any circumstance, like for anything you visualize, you already know how it ends, you can see the end, then the whole point of being here is the experience. So me, myself, jumping from thing to thing all my life, I realized really relates to me doing these videos now and where I am 
currently in my life and also the idea of neutrality I thought was really funny too because I was just thinking about today and I thought about how my sign is a Libra which is scales <laughs> which is neutrality so it's funny how every little thing comes together and also the fact that I was I just started thinking back on everything that's happened in my life and it's really interesting seeing like where you've come from and where you are now and again this is probably just the timeline that I'm on like the way that I'm seeing it but I was thinking about how when I was younger I had back surgery my spine was in an S shape and I thought that was really weird um I ended up no one in my family had anything related to that and I was perfectly healthy and then all of a sudden it was just like one day just like the universe was out of nowhere and then all of a sudden I had to have like immediate surgery because it was really severe um but my curves were really interesting because they were like almost perfectly balanced so I kind of looked straight even though I had my back was all curved like I had a perfect up and down curve which again goes back to neutrality you know like balancing out of things and the funny thing is like so I got rods put in two titanium rods and they straightened my spine um so that just again makes me think of the universe itself and being in alignment and being in the middle of the up and the down but whatever again reading far into things and then I was also the other day we were looking at like meanings of names and um I think my name is something to do with God like here of God or something like that or I don't know it's just the f funniest things how everything sort of correlates together but I'm telling you guys, I see metaphors and synchronicities everywhere. My life is like, I don't know. It, it feels definitely not real. Like I tell you guys in these videos, all this, this stuff that I know and um, yeah, I try to stick to one topic, but this is how my brain works. Like I'm so all over the place all the time. This is like me constantly. I'm like going a million miles a minute um, and I can't like watch a show, I can't watch a movie anymore, I can't like even walk outside or have a conversation with someone without seeing like the meaning behind it or like knowing, seeing how it relates to my current state. It's like I see everything. That's crazy. But that's also the universe as well, it sees everything. Um, again, I don't want to go too crazy in this video talking about a million things, but it's like the witness and non-duality, like we can go into that, talking about duality, non-duality. Um, anyways, I'm not going to go more into detail in this video. I feel like this is probably turning into a very random, <laughs> confusing video. I might put a timestamp and be like, okay, only watch this part. Um, unless you want to hear, I, I don't even know where this is going. Once again, don't know where it's going and that's okay nothing makes sense like there is no destination that's the thing there's no destination wherever you're trying to get to whatever you're so worried about trying to reach like the thing is you've already been there before like the universe has already done everything it's already existed before and the only thing the universe wants to do through you is to experience life like experience your specific things that you want to do in life like they just want to be there for the ride basically and so that's why it's not so much about the outcome it's not saying you can't want a certain outcome but you also have to know that like the outcome that you want so bad is already like a memory for the universe like it's already done it the thing it really wants is to just be here in the moment with you living your life doing whatever you're doing and I highly recommend watching the movie Soul, by the way, if anyone hasn't watched that movie. If you are needing, like, something uplifting today and you also want to understand this idea of, like, your purpose is really just to live, then I recommend that movie. It explains it so well and also, like, does a really good job of representing, like, heaven and the earth and, like, everything I talk about here. It's, it's really cool, but yeah. I don't know. I made this video so random but I just felt like I needed to say something and I needed to put it out there that, yeah, you don't have to be perfect. It's okay to mess up and it's okay to doubt yourself, like whatever you need to do. 
just it's okay it's fine the only thing that you need to stop doing is to stop judging yourself and just be there for yourself really and be kind to yourself and start looking at life like a little kid just like it's a playground like my channel says you're here to experience and start like looking at things again like a little kid too as in don't overthink and imagine the big things you want to do get excited about them don't overthink it um again this is not like you have to do this i'm just saying if this help works for you um and uh yeah like find the beauty i guess you could say in every moment um wherever you are right now yeah the universe is happy with wherever you are right now it's like perfect so okay well i'm gonna end this video <laughs> so i don't even know i feel like this video will be never ending if i don't end it so maybe that is the message with this video because i really don't know what happened in the about second half of it so thank you so much for watching if you still want to subscribe to my channel <laughs> comment and like uh definitely do so um and yeah wow i just also remembered sorry before i end <laughs> before i end this also authenticity i was this is what i was gonna say earlier of course now it came back to me authenticity was considered i think the highest frequency or something when they measured it um i don't really know how they measured it but yeah authenticity which i found to be true with myself if you are authentic with yourself and with other people like you really are honest with yourself and other people as in you tell yourself the negative stuff you're honest about how you feel you don't hold back and you just like trust that's okay and that people will accept you for who you are that is when like you see bigger things happen in your life when you really just are who you are so that is also why i made this video because i just wanted to be myself and not try so hard so yeah all right thank you guys bye